Hello, everyone's everyone. I am here for my review of Married at First Sight, Season 15, Episode 6. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and also do reactions. If you're returning, you one of my people, oh, welcome back. So, we don't have any comments from last week's video, so we're going to jump right on in. The ladies meet up, the men meet up, and they're discussing what's going on in their relationships. Now, this episode, it kind of showed what could possibly, be, could possibly be some cracks later down in the relationship. Some things that's like, this is what I wanted. I got something else. Are you going to be able to compromise? Am I going to be able to compromise? And it's funny when we talk, when we have Justin speaking, it is always, I am a sensitive man. Most women cannot handle a sensitive man, but Alexis, she knows I'm sensitive. She allows me to be sensitive, but she also knows when it's time when the time comes, I can put my foot down. And then we move over to her talking about some it's gonna get it's gonna be an adjustment to be in a relationship to be married to a sensitive man because Alexis Alexis has no problem with saying exactly what is on her mind at all times so i'm like she has to consider somebody else's feeling other than her she has this very habit of just bluntly saying things like when he said i love you she's like what am i supposed to do with that am i supposed to say i love you because i don't like she's very blunt with it and i could see him getting very upset and very emotional about some of the things she's saying because he's like oh she understands what i'm going through and she's over here yeah it's gonna take a minute because like it, it, it's a lot to deal with a man who was sensitive and me who just, i'm not trying to be mean but what i said comes out me if if that makes sense now y'all i was feeling bad for christian because these ladies, you have one girl talking about some, oh, yes, my husband, he already told me he loves me. We got one where um, my husband, he is ready to have sex right now, and she's dealing with Mitch, who set up this romantic dinner to only, only to tell her, I don't find you physically attractive as of yet. And I don't know if he said, I don't know if I ever will, but like, we have that. Then we talk, we communicate, you get a little lick in your system, you get a little bit drunk, and now you want to hunch on me. But I think her standing up for herself and her not, you know, buckling down and crying and like, oh my goodness, you don't like me. He found, he found that attractive. Yeah. Where am I at? Yeah, she was like, yeah. He told me that I was not attractive, but once he got a little liquor in the system, he pounced on me. And I was like, that sounded aggressive. But yeah, when she put the brakes on that, and he was like, no, nah, when she was like, no, nah, we're not finna do that. You just told me you don't find me attractive, but you, like, you got your beer goggles on goggles on and your liquor goggles on and now all of a sudden you want to hunch on me mm -mm, we punching popping the grace right there and her doing that and her handle the way she handled herself he found that attractive and i was like is it that he wants an aggressive woman i'm not i'm not sure what mitch wants at this point i know a lot of people saying it's her mama because even though he said on the wedding day, her all glammed up. He that was uh, he wasn't attracted to that, but he did seem like he was attracted to her mama. But I guess her being assertive and her standing her ground, or like, no, you just ain't finna do me any old type of way. He likes that in a woman. Like, I don't know if it's like a. I'm not gonna say he gets turned on and like tearing her down, but like when he tears her down, so to speak. And she doesn't crumble under her the tear down. It's like, oh, you can handle me treating you like this way. Like, <clears throat> like if I treat you like garbage and you stand up for yourself, 
I find that attractive. That's what I'm getting from Mitch, and maybe I'm just putting 20 on 10. Now, Nate and Stasia, they have a little picnic. Now, Nate's reaction would be my reaction. Like, I tell you guys all the time when I'm watching reality shows or watching anything in general, when we show up and there's already food out, in my mind, how long was this food sitting here with nobody looking over it? Because, you know, a, a roach, an ant, a fly, a bird could have came over and stepped on it. I don't know what creature could have gotten on this food before I've gotten here that I'm going to have to eat it. They having a picnic, so they like right at ground level or ants, any any old type of bug can just come swoop in. For all we know, a bird could have came by like, ooh, grapes, and like grabbed a whole chunk of grapes and went on about their business. So I was with Nate on that one. Stasia brings brings up therapy. She went to therapy to handle and get through some and help her with some childhood trauma that she had had she had had and it helped her out a lot and she was like how does he feel about couples therapy now a lot of people think you go to therapy when you're going through things like no you're going through therapy because you know helping you guide you on where you need to be it's like we're not going to therapy because we're having issues we're going to therapy so they can give us a tool that we need so we can have a a, a happy and a healthy relationship with our marriage there doesn't have to be anything wrong with it, but maybe it's just the, the way that they're editing things. But a lot of times, what it looks like when Stashi is talking about something, Justin is off looking off into the wind. Like, his mind has went elsewhere. Like, he's not even paying attention to what she has, what she is saying at this point. And it's like, hmm. Huh. Okay, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Okay. Then we got them. Oh, yeah, we have um, Ben and Morgan. And Ben brings up some things that seems concerning about Morgan. Her not having the best relationship with her father. And her having student loan debts and wanting to go back to school. And it's like some people, they, they just don't have a healthy relationship. They don't have a relationship with both of their parents. And that's sad, but that's, that's not everybody has that. And I don't like the fact, it's like, well, you see that I have, you know, I'm real close to my mom and my dad and all that. That's good for you, but not everybody has that. We don't know what was going on between Morgan and her dad to cause them to be estranged. And the simple fact is they don't have a relationship. Her wanting to go back to school, I don't see anything. Like a lot of people are in debt and then most of it has to do with student loans because for whatever reason, the, the school and the government and everybody think it's a good idea to give these huge amount of loans to this 18 year old person. A lot of the time, not reading all the fine print that goes along with these student loans and getting these loans, and then in the long run, not end up having a career that they studied for. So, but she is trying to go back to school, but you know, he's already on his, he cheap. I'm not going to say he's frugal, but he's cheap. Frugal is like, okay, I have nice things because I've saved. I don't buy my coats and stuff in the wintertime. I buy them when they're on sale. That's being smart with your money, but you're not wanting to have on no AC or no heat because you're trying to save money. And it's like, save it for what? You can't take it with you? But anyways, but she assures him that I'm not looking for your money. I don't want you to pay any of my bills. Point blank and period. Since she's going back to school to further her nursing, he takes that as she is not a nurse. Now, she's going for her, I believe, her bachelor's, bachelor's degree in nursing. Like, she could, for all we know, she could be a, um, a, a NA, a nursing assistant. Ain't that what it is? I believe that's what my, my cousin is. She's a nursing assistant. She didn't go, like, the whole four years to become, to get her, like, actual nurse's degree. But she still does things that a nurse does. 
And I'm thinking, and I could be wrong, y'all put it in the comment section below, that's where Morgan, she's in that line that like, I'm doing the things of a nurse. I'm actually helping the nurses, so therefore I am nursing. But since she doesn't have her like full on degree as a nurse, he takes that as, you know, that was not her telling the truth. And they had discussed, okay, I've told you this, this is between us, husband and wife. But since he's so close to Justin, who he calls Tree, which I think is weird, but anyway, that's not me, that's their relationship. He's told Justin, who is most likely told Alexis. Now, he went on and on and on talking about how we got to have trust in our relationship. And But you go behind her back to talk to somebody else that is not in this relationship about something you guys discussed. And I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. And she didn't appreciate that. It was like, you're making it come off as like I'm a liar. Like, I ain't got no kind of, you know, background in doing any type of nursing. And I just said, like, that's like saying, okay, he, the way he's calling her a liar is like, she is a receptionist at a clinic. And all she do is, okay, can I get your ID and your insurance card? You write your name right there in the time of your appointment and what time you got in. Okay, I'm going to get all your information. Your copay is this. Handing back their paperwork. That's all they, she does. But she's telling everybody she's a nurse. I think that she's doing something in the field of nurse. And in her mind, she's being a nurse. I don't know. Like I said, I believe my cousin, she's like a nurse's assistant or something like that. And I know she did not go through four years of schooling to become a nurse. She did some courses, took a test, and she was able to become this. But Morgan, she's like, she wants to further her career in nursing. So that's why she's going back to school. But for whatever reason, Ben thought it was a good idea to go tell their business to Justin. And now she's feeling some type of way. Stasia asked Lindy, how did you go from wanting to wait to have sex with Miguel to having sex with Miguel? And was this your idea and something you wanted to do? Lindy says that she and Miguel, they talked and they've been communicating and she feels more comfortable in the situation. The only reason Stasia brings this up is because she knows in past relationships that I don't want to put the word pressure, but it's like she felt like she needed to have sex with her past partners in order to like make that partner happy or to like keep to stay in that relationship. And she doesn't want that for Lindy. But Lindy, she still has some of those ideals of the way she grew up. She was like, you was, sex was something shameful when she grew up. That's what a lot of a lot of kids and young adults who grow up in a religious home, they are forced to feel shamed about sex. And then some of them is like, they just going to got to, okay, I'm not going to do this because if I do this, I'm going to hell. I'm doing this. I'm going, this, all this happened. It's supposed to be something shameful and something horrible. Then there's the flip side of some of them is like, I'm going to do it. You don't want me to do it. For, so therefore I'm going to do it. But she says this is something that she wanted to do. This is her husband. She felt comfortable enough to do it, so therefore they did it. This is when Lindy asked um, Stasia, well, me and Miguel have been talking, and we, we don't think that Nate is all that genuine. How do you feel about that? Because I, as much as y'all my girls and I love my family, I haven't been on my phone. Look where I'm at, y'all. Hey, trying to get my likes up, trying to get my views up. I'm not trying to do any of that. And Stasi, she has to admit that sometimes she questions whether Nate is genuine or not. And I'm like, I can, I can, I completely understand that. It's like he's putting on, okay, this is what I want, this is what I'm doing, but like. Do you really want to do that? Is this something to, okay, I can get me, you know, some money out of this. I can be on TV. This most likely is going to get my followers up, my likes up, my views up. 
something I can do just for these few weeks. And then possibly some women see me on TV like, hey, ooh, Nate, Nate looks nice. Maybe I can get with him. I don't know where it's coming with Nate, but I do know that these people have been married for less than a week. And they're throwing out a lot of love and a lot of trust for people that they do not know. Yes, you decided to marry this person, but you don't know this person. I don't know what's going on with my ring light, but it seems like it's getting brighter and dimmer and then brighter again. Maybe it's just me, like, seeing things. The couples are sitting down. And Morgan relates to the group how being a nurse and taking care of people all day, when she comes home, she likes to just de-stress. She worked all through the panorama, and at that time she was single, working all those hours, seeing all what she saw, coming home, she had to de-stress. So now, I get what she was saying. But it came out a little harsh. Just like when I come home, I just need a minute. She just needs some time to herself. I need my husband to be able to take care of himself because I've just come off from a shift taking care of people for how many hours? I need to come home to relax, relate, and relieve. When I come home, I don't I don't want to have to go from taking care of people all day to coming home and taking care of my husband and my household. I want him to be able to do that for himself. And I, I got what she was saying, but it was like, the way they was getting it was like, well, dang, is this your husband or, or is this, you know, your roommate? It's like, she's like, they, they're not in the same situation she's in, so they don't know what she's going through with work. And now it's like we got, you know, Miss Rona out here. We got her cousins out here. And then we got this new thing that's popping up. It's like, well, I don't, the new thing ain't popped up as yet when they was filming. But y'all get what I'm saying? Like, all this stuff I got going on, I'm taking care of these people at, while I'm at work. When I come home, give me my time so I can, I can chill. I can be stressed, and then I can come to you with, okay, what you got going on? How was your day? Things like that. Nate and, um, no, that's not, Alexis and um, um, Justin are talking back and forth, and they're saying that the marriage is seeing more about what Morgan wants and not what Ben wants. And, and it's funny because, after they having their back and forth, like, yeah, it seems like this is like just like a, a roommate situation. This ain't no marriage situation. This is when Justin turns to be like, well, I'm going to be at home taking care of the dogs, fixing breakfast, you know, getting her a smoothie, whatever she wants. You, you was just talking about all the things it was all about Morgan, but now. You were almost criticizing that, but then you turn around and say all the things you're going to be doing for Alexis. And Alexis had to clarify that, you know, she going to be handling things too. She going to make sure her man is right. She going to be holding him down. She going to make sure her bills are stayed, paid and all that other thing. And then she slips up and says she loves him. Now, I think she meant it. I think that she is really starting to fall for Justin. And since she doesn't like to show emotions, she doesn't know what to do with herself. I know they had, they had um, matched up on a dating app and she's like, he looked too nice. And those months ago, she like basically wasted time when she could have got to know a really nice man, but she was all in her, he's too nice. And I was like, what is too nice? But I do at the same time think that he will do any and everything he can to make sure he is happy, make sure that um, Alexis is happy, even if it goes to, it goes against everything that he believes in. So, all the couples, they get back to their rooms. 
Justin starts crying because of what Ben and Morgan are going through. And I, I didn't understand why. You, it, I, he has known Ben a few days, like, more than what he's known his wife. And they become such good friends that he is crying over something that has nothing to do with him. And unless it's like, you can't be hurting for him, okay? And she had to tell him, it's not your place to speak up when Ben chooses not to speak up. Whatever they got going on in their relationship and their marriage, that is them. It is not your job. It's his friend that you just, this friend that you just met, it is not your job or responsibility to speak up on his behalf. And I was like, I completely understand what she's saying. I'm like, she's going to be the sounding board for him. Like, look here, I know you, I know you were itching to say something, but this is not the time or the place. And it's none of our business. This is what they have to go through. Okay. So that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you were new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day for 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So in my beautiful face, this video. You can click on it, you can like and share with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. And tell your people to tell their people to come over here and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.